four, three, two, one. Let's go. Level up, 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 level up. All this on me so yummy, all this sauce so yummy. No, you want this yummy, yummy all in your tummy. Level up, level up, level up, level up, level up, level up. Morning, angels. Um, I've got a little smile on my face today because we're off to do the last cardio session of this prep. Ah! Um, no, I've actually just had a really good sleep, so I feel a little bit more rejuvenated. Um, energy levels changing by the hour this week, so you know who knows what's going to happen after cardio. Um, but I am really enjoying cardio, so off to do cardio, um, and then we are going to go and see Rachel, who owns Aurora Lashes. She is going to. Oh, I'm going to turn this down. She is going to get my face sorted, so new lashes, new brows. Um, and nails as well for the show on Saturday. It's now Wednesday, so I'll be taking you through um, what my day looks like today. Um, we are gonna do cardio. We've got the appointment with Rachel. We're gonna come prep some food, do some posing, train, and then I've got my last two clients before we just rest into show. So yeah, it's almost here. Um, so yeah, let's go and get this last session done, um, and then let's go and get all glammed up. And we are done. Rachel has literally restored my face. Um, still semi-skeletal, but new lashes, new brows, and new nails as well, which match my bikini. Super pretty. So we've gone for like sparkly, like tealy color. So yeah, similar to match the bikini. Um, I'd usually go for like nudes and stuff, but obviously it's showtime. So I just wanted something a little bit prettier to match. Uh, it for my sort of show day glam. Um, I had my hair coloured last week, so colour's good. I'm just gonna get my hairdresser, Sean. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm just gonna get my hairdresser to Sean to um, wash and blow my hair tomorrow night, and then we fly first thing on Friday morning. So yeah, it'll literally just be like sleek and good to go, and then I just need to pop the hair piece in. Um, so I'm just gonna go home now. I'm gonna quickly prep some meals, and then I'm gonna go back to the gym. I'm gonna do um, some posing, just really refine my routine up, make sure I'm happy with all the little transitions and everything. I'm gonna put the hair piece in, make sure I'm happy with how that moves. Um, and then I'm going to train, do my last legs, eat again, and then do my two clients. And we are done for Thursday. Still waiting on check-in feedback. Um, just realised that my check-in today went to my outbox, which it's done a couple of times this week, which is just really annoying. Just because of the size of the, um, the files that I'm sending. But yeah, uh, literally like compared my last peak weeks and this was that let me see I'll pop, I'll pop it on the screen as well if you can't see it but the bottom row was my last peak and the top is this peak and it is literally like it feels like night and day and for that I'm really really proud so yeah I'm excited to see what, what how it comes together on the weekend um and either way I know I've worked so so hard to get to this point and it's the best I've ever been and that is all we can do guys so yeah let's take you with me and let's do Thursday Okay, so I'm currently in like hoodie on top of hoodie right now. Uh, double layer hoodies um, because I'm so cold. Uh, but we are two litres in. I've got to drink 7.5 litres today. So we're two litres down. Um, so I'm sitting with a water bottle right by me, obviously. I'm just going to make some food, put some food together. And then I'm going to get back to some client work that I've been doing um, today. And at three o'clock, ish half three i am gonna go and do an hour posing um about 40 minutes posing just really finalize that routine in the studio at pure gym where it which is where i work and then i'm going to train legs So guys, I've still got my veggies in and I've still got a little bit of seasoning as well. So Jordan said it's really important to keep seasoning as, um, you know, as we have been having it um, up until Friday where we will take all sodium out. So yeah, we've just keep, been keeping everything consistent up until now.
So today I'm going to be taking you through what's inside my show day suitcase while I'm getting everything organised for Alicante. We fly tomorrow morning, um, the baggage stitch is a little bit like Craig because it's Ryanair so it's like you get a laptop sized bag which can go into the seat in front, you get like a little wheelie bag, well one of us gets a little wheelie bag because of priority in, um, sorry to take on the cabin as well and then we've got one check-in bag for 10 kilos for like the fluids and things so Jazz at Compact kindly reminded me uh, that the tan bottles are over 100 mil so I will need a check-in bag and um, so thank goodness for her. While I'm just getting everything organised I'm going to start getting things into piles of like what I want in the main suitcase and what I want with me on the plane. Um, and yeah, I'll take you through everything that I've got really for the next couple of days. Absolute basics, obviously, the bikini. Um, in my little bikini case, which again is from Compaq. I absolutely love this. This is so cute. Really, really handy. So in here, I've literally got my bikini. I've got a few extra crystals, some glue, a little sewing kit, things like that. And I just keep that all in there. Um, and it's just super handy to have it, everything. Um, I've got spare connectors as well, which I just got off Amazon um, just in case anything happens protected like we spend a lot of money on these bikini guys they're an absolute work of art so yeah let's just make sure that they are well protected when you're traveling and another obvious one is heels um again from the lovely compact um i've gone for a lip 102 so i'll actually show you i always have this heel i've worn this heel for years um but these ones i've gone for are absolutely gorgeous so these are mine for this season they are the lip 102 um but they have a sparkly heel how cute are they oh love so i get regular size in these they're absolutely fine um i found that my other ones stretched over time but i've literally worn them to death guys like i've done show after show after show and i pose every sunday in them so it was really nice getting a nice fresh pair they fit nice and tight um and they're nice and secure and then yeah we've gone for a little bit of sparkle because it's a big show so yeah love these and a big tip that i will give you guys let me just get this heel back in here oh, i can't not multitask is anything that's like essential for show day that you can keep with you then get it in your cabin bag. If there's risk of it going missing, if it's like your bikini or your heels or anything like that, you don't want to turn up without that. Like if you turn up without tan, there's a tanner there. Like you can get tan somewhere, someone will have tan. If you risk packing your bikini and your heels and your bag doesn't come out the other side, what are you gonna do? Okay, then we have like the beauty type stuff. So this time I am wearing this weave which is a hair choice um clipping um backstage weave i've gone for i think the color is called la blonde um and it's a straight flicky weave um and it's just literally a one piece that clips in it's pretty much a perfect match to my hair and it's just really really easy it's pretty much the same length as my hair really it just gives it a bit of fullness and volume um so yeah that'll be with me also i'm gonna think put that in with my cabin bag it just well. up um so this is my like generic makeup um i have got my show day makeup in here um and i need to find my makeup palette actually because yeah i don't know where that's gone we've moved house yeah once within like we moved house a few weeks ago so the house is still a bit upside down and yeah um i've lost my eyeshadow palette in the process so specific show day makeup um that is not show day makeup so specific show day makeup, I've got two foundations. I've just got Rimmel Match Perfection. Um, I've got a really, really dark one here. I think that colour is one, uh, 503 Mocha. Um, and then I've got 103 True Ivory. So these, if you've got to think, your body's going to be completely tanned. I choose not to get my um, face tanned. I like to do it, like the tan up with my makeup. So I'll mix these if i need to as a base contour with this one and then highlight with this one down the center um and then i'll just use obviously my normal um concealer and things like that to really brighten up my face and then my regular like um eyebrow pencil and things just um a little bit harder um i use this eyebrow pencil which is a nyx pencil um and i'll just go a little bit darker on those i wear false eyelashes anyway um, so they're fine and then yeah my lip is Superstay Matte Ink from Maybelline so it's quite again quite dark because that stage light's going to be on you so it's going to bleach your lips out um, so yeah that's that I just need to grab my eyeshadow palette and then that's pretty much it for makeup so that's going to go in that can probably go in cabin baggage um, and then 
they're less than 100 ml bottles, so that's cool, are they? Also have headache tablets Ooh. and antihistamines as well because sometimes I do suffer with my skin. Um, I don't know exactly what causes it. I've touched wood, not had it in the last few weeks of prep just because my diet has been so like basic. Um, but it's good for me to have just in case something happens. I don't wanna be uncomfortable on the day. Then we have everything tan related. So guys, I use um, Pro Tan. I've used a lot of tans, like every tan you can imagine I have used. Um, this time I've decided to go back to my roots from like my first season of competing and do my own tan. When I did my own tan, the first, very first shows like, that I did in 2014, I used Pro Tan and yeah, it's my favorite color. I absolutely love the color. And any time after that that I've got a tan done professionally, I've never been happy with it. And you pay so much money and it goes muddy and it's just not right or it's, it's too dark for bikini. And I'm just like, come on. So yeah, I'm taking Pro Tan with me. Again, I got these from Compaq. Um, I've got my base coat, which is this one here. And this will go on tomorrow night. So the way I like to put this on is empty it into a Tupperware and then use the um, then use the applicator sponge, dip it in and then pop it straight on like that rather than spraying it, it takes forever. Then we've got the instant bronze top coat, which is this one here. And that one goes straight on on the day. So you've got loads of directions on here, guys. Um, but it'll literally go on top of the base coat. So don't wash this off in the morning. And then you pop this one on the morning of the show. And then we can just top that up as and when we need to. And again, got a little tan applicator for that as well. Um, but Jazz did quite kindly send me some tanning mitts also. So we're good to go. Um, I've got an exfoliating mitt for that in that as well. I didn't know that. Um, for getting the tan off, which is cool. Um, so all of the tanning stuff needs to be going into the checking bag. So that can go on this side. The, those bottles are like over 100 ml. So they're going to have to be checked. I've also got show shine, which again for the day, um, just to give me that final glaze. Um, this is all the same brand. It's all the Pro Tan brand. Um, is it called Muscle Up? Um, and again, Usually with this, I don't spray straight onto my skin. I'll spray it into hands or I'll spray it into Mike's hands or Jasmine's hands. Um, and then spray it into hands, rub them together and then do this over the tan. Um, just to give you a sheen rather than you don't want to look like a glazed donut. It's just to give you a little bit of a, a nice sheen under the show light. I also always take baby wipes. Um, you don't know what's going to happen. Tan gets everywhere. Um, just It's just a good thing to have in your show day bag, guys. Because, you know everybody needs baby wipes in their life so just be prepared for things that might happen um bikinis pinging breaking crystals coming off spillages happening baby wipes in your show day suitcase so that can go they don't need to be checked so they can go here um what else do we have okay so now onto this massive box <laughs> from compact um, so I'll take you through everything that I've got in here. This here is a resistance band. I've got some loop bands as well, um, which are really good um, just for upper body and for looping around the bottoms of your feet as well and doing kickbacks. But this one here is amazing. I've not actually looked at this yet. Oh my God, there's like more than one. That's awesome. What she sent me. Jasmine is such a legend. Compact is just like, I didn't even know this stuff existed. <laughs> Love it. Um, so these here are, are oh, amazing. They are all different levels of resistance, so that is so cool. Um, and then we've got different handles. Oh my God, it's got a glue kickback attachment. Oh my word, this is incredible. Oh my goodness. So we've literally got handles, so we can attach them at either end. So we can do our shoulder pump up, which is perfect, because all I'm gonna be pumping up is glutes and shoulders. And then I've also got a kickback attachment, which is awesome. So I can literally put it on um, and then do kickbacks to, kick up, to pump up my glutes. So, oh my goodness. This is awesome. I love, love, love this set. Again, from Compact, guys. And, and that just comes in a handy little bag as well. So, hey, Fabby. Yay! Black pants or joggers or whatever. Okay? I literally just bring old black joggers. They're just cut off joggers. Um, and I've taken the waistband out. So, they're nice and stretchy. Um, because you want to be comfy. You're going to be getting your tan done. Obviously, you're going to have a robe or something like that for the day but just to chill in and be comfy and not get anything anywhere, you want a plain black tracksuit. So black joggers, big black hoodie, big black t-shirt or something. I've got one in here. I will show you the black t-shirt that I will be wearing. A compact one. Um, so that's gonna be my little chill outfit for whilst we're out there. Um, black so that the tan doesn't get on anything and you don't have to worry about sort of cleaning and things like that. So yeah, black clothes, 
black bed sheets, anything like that, black towels, just all of the black stuff. We've also got bikini bite. Ah, girl's best friend. So this literally goes on at the last minute, guys. So as you're glazing everything, um, and this just goes literally inside your bikini. So I just like to stick the top of my cup and the top of my pants um, at the back. Um, it just goes on the inside and then sticks down onto your skin. Once that's on, do not take it off because it will take your tan off with it as well. You don't want to be having all these different lines of where it's been. So it is the final little thing. Um, it's just a suit fastener, no slip. Um, so it means that your suit is literally going to press into place and not going to move. Um, so when you're posing, you're not thinking about it riding down and things. So yeah, absolute lifesaver this one, especially if you have lost a little tiny bit of weight, um, peak week and things and your bikini is getting a little bit um, not as snug as it should be bikini bite yourself in don't be worrying about it on stage so again from compact awesome so this is the bronzy so it is literally a nice comfy big onesie for you to wear once you've had your tan done um it's got air holes underneath the arms as you can see there focus um and so it's really well ventilated so you're not going to sweat and you can literally just get your tan done put this on and chill out like you don't have to worry about the tan getting anywhere you don't have to worry about changing the bed sheets or anything like that so this is just a lifesaver to have do you know what it's so comfy i might even travel in it <laughs> literally absolute lifesaver you're not having to go with work we're in an airbnb so we're not having to take like a duvet set um and all sorts with us on the plane i can just take my bronzy um and sleep in my bronzy and be well protected so yeah absolute game changer this i've literally not had one of these until this year and used it for my own fake tan at home first and i was just like this is awesome not changing bed sheets all the time yeah so highly recommend also black flip-flop you want flip-flops in your show day suitcase. You don't want to be putting your tanned feet into trainers and things like that. And you just want to be comfy. You want to be able to slip on, stay well aired, um, stay cool. And yeah, so black flip-flops are just the way to go. Um, again, black because you don't want the tan getting everywhere and sparkly because, you know, we love a bit of sparkle. So black flip-flops, put that on your list. You absolutely need that once your tan is on. You don't want to A, be ruining your tan and B, be getting tan all over your shoes as well. Then we have this absolute beauty. Um, it's the show day robe. So mine is actually personalized. Um, I absolutely love this. How super cute is that? Oh, I love it. Um, and it's got the little compact logo on too. Um, so as we said, guys, you wanna be nice and light on the day. You don't wanna be in anything that's gonna be ruining your tan. So a robe is absolutely perfect. Again, the darker the color, the more it's not gonna get ruined um, with the tan so just being able to throw on a robe maintain your dignity whilst you're swearing about the venue um but not wearing or having to put out anything on and off that's gonna streak through your tan or ruin your tan and cause you to have to do top ups and things so yeah a black robe um as i say compact do customized ones which is really nice if you work really hard towards a show and you can feel really glam on the day so i absolutely love that um it's really really light as well so again not gonna be sticking down not gonna be um causing you to sweat or anything so black robe for show day and then the show day jewelry so let's see what i've got in this little bag here um i've got two i did have another little bag actually where's it gone there it is i've got two little bags jazz is absolutely spoiling me here um so i literally just go quite basic on my jewelry for show day um i've literally got some four row bracelets are they all four row yeah perfect so four row bracelets i literally just like to go one on each arm um nice and basic and just matching just to give myself a little bit of something on the stage um so i've got those and then i've got a ring as well which is super cute speaking of rings i do also take my ring box for my engagement ring um just because once i'm tanned and everything i don't want to be ruining that so that'll be coming off and getting stored safely and then i'll probably just replace it with um this cute little ring that's going to match the four row as well um and I'll pop that on just as a little bit of sparkle. Then we have two earring options. So we have these here. See, I don't usually go too much with my earrings just because I have big hair, but my hair isn't curly this time. So I've got two options. I've got these here, which I'm pretty sure are in the Charlie. After me. Um, so these here. But again, remember, the judges have got to see you from the stage, so they've got to be quite big. Um, and then I've got bigger options here. So we'll try both on show day, um, and we'll see what we feel like works best. 
Um, they might be a little bit too big for me, actually. Um, but everybody's different as to what suits them. Um, we'll try it with the hair, see what works best, and then we can kind of just go from there. See what sets the look off, really. But it's nice to have a couple of options. So very grateful to Jazz for sending me a couple of options there. And again, I'm going to pack one set of jewellery and I'm going to um, check keep one set of jewellery in the cabin baggage just as a just in case. And we then have obviously hairspray. Um, obviously you need all your hair bits guys so I'm not going to show you my straighteners but hairspray, straighteners um, and I, I usually I'll have blown my hair before I leave but I do put my straighteners in my show day bag because um, especially with the heat in Alicante when I get to the venue I want to be able to make sure I'm able to smooth my hair down um, and I've also got this this time as well just some Frizzy's hair serum so I did the Benidorm show last year which is just up the road from this one um, and by the time we got on stage my hair was just so like frizzy and I just felt bleh so I've literally got my Frizzy's hair serum so I can put that through my hair make sure it stays completely sleek just before stage um, and yeah I'll be taking all of my hair stuff with me then um, on show day. So I would also advise guys that you take a mirror. Um, you don't know how many mirrors are going to be available on show day. You don't know if you're going to be able to get to a mirror. Um, sometimes they are just in like convention centres and you just held backstage and not actually dressing rooms. So take your own mirror um, and then you can sort of do your touches up to your face and things like that. Your own mirror because then you can make your own changes. You don't have to be fighting for mirrors and stressing about if you can get to a mirror or not. So have that in your show day suitcase. And one other thing that I would also recommend, and uh, this isn't a, like what is in the show day suitcase thing, but take your take your bits to show day in a wheelie case, okay? You don't want to be carrying a bag on your shoulder when you've had your tan done. You'll also be pre probably feel pretty meh. You don't want to be like lugging a bag around. Um, yeah, don't stress about rubbing your tan off and things, having that strap cutting in. Take a wheelie suitcase and just wheel your stuff around it is so so much easier um and everything else guys will really depend on your coach as to your carb up and things i'll show you what i'm taking with me additionally to that but this is personal to me um, oh razors as well always take a razor just in case you see any pesky little bits of hair i always take rice cakes i always tend to carb up with some kind of rice cakes anyway so i'll be taking them in my show day suitcase i'm also going to be taking small meals of chicken and almond butter um but it'll depend how i look on the day as to whether i eat them so i have this all with me in my show day suitcase as well this time around i've chosen to be i don't know just like thinking ahead because there's been times in the past like i remember competing at the wff universe in france and um i got off stage and i had oh i got off stage and i had um I brought with me like a giant kilo of Nutella and I like raided the mini bar when I got off stage and just ate this jar of Nutella and it was just crazy and I'm like, what the hell? Um, I'm in a much better place with it now. I've been competing for a good few years um, and I don't really want that whole like just go mad and binge after show thing. Like I'm just not into that anymore and um, I'm, I'm sort of past that. So we'll obviously go out for a nice meal, but then I've just packed um, in, well, just bought, packed in my case, um, a few protein bars because obviously I've not had these for like 14 weeks. And I've also packed, this is on offer as well, so I couldn't say no, um, the grenade spread. So that'll just give me that kind of little hit of having some kind of like sweet spread after an up dip the protein bar in without just going absolutely crazy and like overloading the sugar. Because it's never a good idea, guys. You've been so depleted all week, then ramming loads of sugar and things in. It's just, it's a recipe for bad, like a disaster, basically. I've also got a little bit of dark chocolate. My dark chocolate of choice is the Lint 70%. Um, and that's for show day as well, because that's, what my coach has told me to use um but yeah other than that i think everything else will be completely personal to you guys that is just my kind of guide for what i take in my show day suitcase um, now i'm sitting here looking at all this stuff trying to make sense of it so i need to go and start packing um but yeah they are my sort of top tips of things to have in your show day suitcase but just remember make a big list stay organized um, and then tick things off as you're packing make sure that you are completely good to go go through your day from start to finish from when you wake up to when when you leave the house to when if you're staying over to when you go to bed to when you wake up and everything and make sure that you've ticked every single little thing off don't leave anything to chance um, and make sure that you're in the best sort of frame of mind going into that show um, and you're well prepared that's all i would say 
If you need anything show day related, as always, go to Compact, get them sorted through there. Um, they are literally a one-stop shop, guys, so anything you need for that show day, they'll be able to get you sorted there. You don't have to be running around grabbing bits from everywhere. You can just put your order in and it all come in a big box for you, which is awesome. Any show day questions um, that you've got at all, guys, or anything like Peak Week related, just drop them below um, and I will get back to you. Um, the next one will be the show day vlog, which is absolutely crazy. So we travel first thing tomorrow, um, so I will vlog everything for you. Yeah, that's it from me. Um, thank you so much for being here. As always, if you are not subscribed, please, please remember to subscribe below. Um, and if you are, thank you so, so much for supporting me um, on this channel as well. I'll see you soon, guys. I'll see you in the next one.